Hi everybody, my name is Mustang Worlds and welcome back to Sword Burst Online from Zero to Eight. We're gonna play this out again once again. Today we're finally gonna continue with our leveling process because it actually took me a while to actually find the correct farming spot again. So we're basically we're gonna go back to floor three and we're finally gonna continue our farming spot on the golems because we need to get Orkanor. The reason why we need Orkanor, we need to get our crafting level a little bit higher so we finally can make a little bit of a better weapon that we can finally kill a little bit more of bosses on. Some people are saying I'm already on certain episode I didn't level a lot the reason for that is I do not only focus on leveling in this series there's no off-screen leveling or off-screen farming at all this is all on screen so that is the reason why I'm not in high level yet because I need to farm by myself to get my ores get my weapons get the money all that kind of stuff it's all solo a lot of people are basically like yeah but I was like in like an hour way way higher because most of the times if you join a public server you get free call you get helps by killing strong NPCs you get cheap sales you get a lot of money all that kind of stuff always happens when you go in a public server if that never happened to you and you actually did it faster than me then a really GG on your face but anyway we're gonna continue with our awesome farming spot so we're gonna go to these golems because I found out these golems actually drop a nice amount of organ in a pretty fast rate so we're gonna go to escape and we're gonna enable the mouse lock the reason why we want mouse lock so we actually can move and circle around a little bit quicker around the golems because while I really really like this game with the mouse lock because a lot of games that have uh, the sprint button at shift that means if you want to use mouse lock it just doesn't work because every time you press mouse lock it also starts to sprint and whenever you try to sprint it disables or enables your mouse lock so I really really enjoy that this game actually doesn't have that also that is first person support so if you like to play first person of course I love it as well because it's actually really really cool to actually do that so we're just gonna kill a couple of more golems until we actually got enough ores because while well, we need to get a uh, certain amount I think I need like 10 or 15 to actually get there but it's probably gonna take some time because I'm still doing everything solo and that's just a long long period of time what we need to do it on because you can see these jungle golems are pretty strong to be honest they actually deal a nice amount of damage and the chance of actually getting orc and or is not that great for me at the moment so Let's see, we're gonna... There we go. So we got smithing 30.4, tailoring 13.4, cooking 1.8, and we got 6k in total. So in that part, we did pretty good, but we still have a long, long way to go. So we're gonna turn around, gonna kill this golem. We have around 50% HP left, so we probably should be fine by uh, trying to kill him. Maybe if we even try to do some double hit techniques and, of course, dodge him a little bit. Because, you know, that's how it works. There we go, the bullets. There we go. Uh, I'm really bad at double hits though. I never really use double hits. Even in PvPing, I never really enjoyed using the double hits because I, I always was like, yeah, I always try to, you know, fight normally with that. But we finally got a murky hide. Getting murky hide is also pretty good because, well, we need to get so many murky hides as possible to actually craft a little bit of better armor. So we're gonna back off a little bit from this NPC because you can see my HP is really, really low. We need at least 50% HP to actually take down one of these jungle golems because they deal around, well, I would say 40 to 45 damage if I mess up a lot of the dodges. Like, right now I'm just dodging him really good and that means I do not drop a lot of HP. The way how you dodge them, you basically work in a certain circle, but you want to make sure you don't stay in his hitbox, uh, hitbox range more than one second. That's just one of the biggest tips I would give you guys because... A lot of people basically I see they just keep on you know hugging the enemy and they just die like hugging the enemy would probably work in PvP scenarios because you actually can't get behind them a lot of times and they try to turn around and you keep turning so they can't hit you and they get mad and start to rush things and die so that's one of the things I would say but in PvE you basically want to make sure you're gonna back off sometimes and then turn around and hit him once and then back off right away you can see my HP doesn't always drop Sometimes it actually does and 9 out of 10 times it actually doesn't even drop like you can see now it dropped now it dropped again Oh no, come on now I'm now I'm pointing it out and now it's not working. Oh, there we go. There we go. See? Now it's working. There we go. 
got him. We got an Orkanar and a Murky Eye. That's actually really, really good for us at the moment because you can see this is probably gonna take a long time. I think I will be in the time when I actually got enough of those. We probably will be like one or two episodes more into it. Like, I think this will probably take two or three episodes, but you know, a lot of people voted on this. Nobody wants to see off screen leveling, so everything is done for you guys. So you guys can, you know, play with me at the same time, probably do the same things as me, maybe even give me any tips if I, you know, I'm not that good anymore at Soul Personal Line because I didn't play the game for a long, long time. So if you have any tips for me, like what is the better way to get Murky Heights and Orkanor, or any ways that I can get a better weapon without going to a public server by buying weapons and all that kind of stuff, because my money is at the moment also really low. I got 6.3k, so... It's probably gonna take a long time. Maybe I should probably just put some Robux on this account and get the double drop, maybe. I don't know. Depends how long it's gonna take, but it depends on how much you guys like to see of this. Because, well, we got another Arcanor. That's really, really good. So, we got 429 out of 631 EXP. Then we finally level up to level 15. So, let's see. So, we got Murky, Murky, 2 times Murky, 4 times Orkan. We got 7 Fred Zeeds. We need a lot of those in the future, though. But those are probably way, way easier to get. Because, well, I found out uh, Orkanor is probably one of the hardest ones to get besides uh, the higher ones as well. Because the level 15 ore is, like, like so easy to get. You don't want to know how easy it is. Like, once you actually get there, like I am doing right now... It's way easier. Like, I can probably just go to floor uh, 5. Uh, just kill the floor 4 boss. Probably go to floor 5 and try to solo him with this gear. But I'd rather have um, a healing weapon. So, I at least can heal a little bit. So, I'd rather have a... There we go, Murky Heights. I'd rather have a Crimson at my right hand. Because if you put a weapon in your left hand, the healing stats will not work. Keep that in mind, guys. If you have a weapon that has health or Reagan, make sure you put it in your right hand because your left hand doesn't work. That's for balancing, but still, dual wield is still one of the strongest, or well, it's probably the strongest in the game so far. Maybe in late game it's the strongest, but sometimes in early game the slate is the better option. Then you go to Lost Wish in console, then you go from Lost, then you go to Aqua in console, and then you go to Inferno in Aqua. Or Inferno, Inferno. Depends what you like. But before those... Um, uh, before the... Leaf Blade or whatever it was called. Uh, you rather really have a Slate in your hands. Because the Slate has a lot of defense. It's probably one of the best two-handed weapons in the game. Even one of the strongest weapons in the game. Probably. Because it's a really, really good weapon in defense. And of course in attack. Anyway, we're gonna kill him. There we go. We got another Murky Hide. Oh yeah. So we got four Murky Hides. Four Arcanors. It's gonna take a long time probably to kill all of these. So basically, we're just gonna talk a little bit about the future of all Alex's games. So basically, a lot of you guys already know this. Song Personal Line will not receive an update. Maybe forever. Maybe it will do in the future again once he actually will put a team on it. It's same goes for Alphine Online. He already said so. He maybe wants to put a team on it in the future to actually keep the game updating again. But that's maybe for the future. It depends how Shadow Line goes. Because Shadow Line will be released this Friday. And this Saturday we will be doing a live stream with the developers of the game. Kevin and maybe Alex will also join and Slevin will maybe join. Who knows, who knows. But we will basically will group up together and play some Shadow Line. Talk about all the future updates and of course the content that has been added. So you basically will know the most facts of the game at the live stream at Saturday. So make sure you be there. It's gonna be really, really awesome. And if you're watching this in the past... You know, not, uh, what day is it actually? I need to check that really quickly. Today is, um, not the 19th of September. Is that right? Is that right? Is it September? Yeah, it's the 19th of September. So if you're watching this somewhere between that, uh, before the Friday, then I will basically say, come online at Saturday. Shadow Line will be free. It will be one week release. Basically, one week you have to pay a little bit of Robux to get a head start of all the players. If you do not want to spend or you do not have the money, then you just wait the week and then you can play the game for free. It's really awesome. It's not going to be a pay to win game because a lot of people are afraid for that. But no, no, no. Trust me. It's not going to be pay to win. Like this game, this game is not pay to win. It's basically the same way. Like, 
Like, you can have the game passes, but in the end, it will not really work. PvP is gonna work in an area, all that kind of stuff, but you will hear that in the online live stream. So, we're gonna talk about Sword Burst Online again. Because, you know, the game is fun. Sadly enough, the game is, you know, really broken in the code, all that kind of stuff. It's really sloppy at the moment, and the protection and stuff is really outdated. That's why you will see so many uh, exploiters. But it's funny enough to see there is no exploiter that explodes uh, the map, like if the map uh, goes away. Or teleporters, like... Like, a lot of times in my live streams, when there's an exploiter stalking me, I always get teleported to a certain spot, but in this game... It's actually not really working. If somebody can myth bust that for me, you know, if you own exploits, please don't. But if you do, if you know how to get them, but you never use them, please test that out if it actually works. Because I'm actually wondering, is this game actually that good in protection in that wise? Like the surface storage thing, we all know the duping, uh, all that kind of stuff. We already know that's old news. We know that's possible. But I'm basically wondering what would happen if you tried to teleport all the people to your place or blow up the map. Will it work? Will it also noticeable for other people or will it only be noticeable for you? Like that's stuff what I always wonder, but we're about to level up to level 15. So we're doing pretty decent right now. So we're gonna do some spin arounds around him. There we go. I like this spin. Oh yeah. I like that spinning. I like that spinning a lot. There we go. There we go. Hey, 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 hey. Gollum. No. Bat. Meanie. Also for a lot of people wondering, what is my character? I have no idea. I legit have zero clothes what my character is actually looking like, what it should be. It's like it's a combo of Black Panther and, you know, random body parts, I guess. What I could get off the store. Oh, Murky and Orkin. Great. That's really good. I just noticed, this is the only place without music. That's boring. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna kill this dude over here really quickly, and maybe we should go to the boss, because the boss actually has a good chance to actually drop as well a little bit, but the boss is a little bit stronger. But it's still one of the challenges we still need to redo, because I killed um, the boss with other people, so I don't know if it would count as a solo kill on that part, so maybe we should do it. Because we got around the same gear in that part. Like, in the beginning of the game, we had a little bit of a team play, all that stuff. But a lot of people were like, you should play solo because there's a lot of PKers, all that kind of stuff. And I could agree with that. Because imagine trying to do this when there is just a lot of PKers. Like, that would be close to impossible. There we go. There we go. Woo! Well, there we got murky eyes. Oh, yeah. We're gonna put effects at high. Because effects on high is always really good. That's also really good for phones. If you have a lag and you um, you go to this console, even for PC players, put this on effects low. If you put it at low, you will get less lag. Of course, press escape, press settings, or lower this to quality. Okay, these are the qualities. Once again, guys, for a lot of people wondering, what are the best qualities? So you got quality 1, quality 3, quality 4. 5-ish, you know, five, six, five, like in between, like you can put it in between here, or th these two are good. Then you got this one, and 10, because you don't want to put it at 9, because 9 does not really do that much. Like, it's maybe 5 frames, all that kind of stuff. I found out that those are probably the best settings you want to put Roblox on to actually get a decent amount of... Um, you know, FPS in that part, so we're gonna walk towards the boss and hopefully win. Hello there, Mr. Bossy. I'm gonna try to pull one of you. There we go. Where did I start? Anyway, we're gonna start to kill the boss. Hopefully, we can easily win this fight. I doubt that we actually can win this because his hitbox range is a little bit bigger than the other golems. But you can see we're dealing a nice amount of damage. He has already dropped a little bit lower than I would expect. I got a little bit less HP, so I'm gonna back off a little bit for now because I need to get a health regen. So I'm gonna turn around, gonna give him some hits, and then I'm gonna do some six sacks so we can basically do a couple of hits while moving away. So just in case, yeah, there we go. We got the pattern. Oh yeah. There we go. He's not hitting me. No, he is. Backing off, backing off. He is as low as me now. So there we go. We're gonna turn around. Nice. I need to make sure I don't go too close to them. Because I don't want to aggro one of those. There we go. I'm gonna back off. And heal. Boom. Heal. Oh, that healing. 
Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Do I got any... I got a lake plum. Eat it! Eat the lake plum! We need it to win this. Okay, backing off, backing off. 6x. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. This is bad. This is really bad, to be honest. Because you can see my HP. This is really hard, to be honest. Even for my level, level 14. He has not a lot of HP. But his damage... Uh, I'm not I'm not a player that likes that. I'm not gonna make him stuck. That's not cool There we go, and we're gonna go for the kill. We're gonna stick it. No, we're not gonna stick it We're not gonna stick it. We need one more heal. There we go. There we go. Woo! So then we did pretty decent. We're gonna kill this golem over here as well So we're gonna heal up a little bit once we actually walk through him and we should be fine to actually kill him if we're going in a certain pattern There we go Nope Nope, there we go there we go. Hit. Hit. Hit him. Good. Hit him harder. Oh god, this pattern really seems to work. There we go. That pattern was actually probably one of the best patterns I did. So, basically what we're gonna do in the future for this series at the moment, I'm gonna farm a lot of the couple of episodes on the Murky Heights and of course the Orkanors because you can see I need a couple of them once we actually can move on to floor 4 and actually farm on that place because you know, this game is really really grindy on that part as well, like we need to farm on bosses soon. Like to get a weapon and all that kind of stuff and that's probably gonna take a lot of time if you guys can already guess that. And girls of course, I don't know. There we go. Hit. There we go, we got another murky hide. So guys, if you ever want to see more of this game, make sure you press the like button. How more likes, how more videos are going to be uploaded. If you maybe didn't notice, I have a little bit of a headache at the moment. So that's why I maybe talk a little bit less loud at certain points or just be a little bit less energetic. So I'm deeply sorry for that, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you see you next time. So please say it with me. One, two, three. Peace out. Yeah.